Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about working of cyclic timer and we will also discuss about its application. Okay, so in previous video, I have already discussed about how to read the specification of cyclic timer and wiring, wiring of this cyclic timer with the load and even we have discussed about its time setting. So I recommend you to please watch that video. I'll give you link in this description box. Okay, so let's get started. So here I have taken select mid cyclic timer. Okay, so these are the knobs for time setting. This is for off time and this is for on time. And here above it we have a uh, deep switch setting. So with the help of this deep switch and this knob, we can set the time setting like on time setting and off time setting. Okay, even we can set the mode like on fast mode or off fast mode. Okay, so we are going to discuss about working off this cyclic timer in off fast mode and on fast mode. Okay, so let's move on to that so first we'll discuss about off fast mode okay so to operate this cyclic timer in off fast mode we have to set the deep switch okay so here we have a four number and five number deep switch for a uh, mode setting okay so to set this cyclic timer in off fast mode what we have to do we have to shift this four number deep switch towards the downside okay towards the downside and five number deep switch towards upside okay in this way we have set the this cyclic timer in off fast mode okay so here we have a load okay and uh, here we have a switch so we are going to control this cyclic timer with the help of this switch and here we have a dp mcb to feed the single phase power supply okay here we have a 220 volt ac supply source okay so now come to working because i have already discussed about wiring of this cyclic timer in previous video so please watch that video so it will be uh, helpful for you to understand this video okay now let's understand the how basically this system works in off first mode okay so when we switch on this switch actually what happened let's see so here we have switched on this switch okay now at this time what happened power will flow like this and it will reach to a1 terminal of this cyclic timer so even this cyclic timer got power supply at a1 terminal at this time also this ball will off okay because here we have set this timer in off first mode okay so initially in off first mode what happened when we switch on this switch its contact doesn't get changed means its relay doesn't get changed okay so it means the ball will be off at off first mode initially even we switch on this switch okay however its off timer will start the time counting at a time when we switch on this switch okay so this ball will be off up to off time setting so here we have set off time 5 second and on time 10 second so up to 5 second this ball will be off okay so off time so 5 second and this is on time here we have said 10 seconds okay so now what happened it starts the time counting okay so off timer will start the time counting like this here as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 so up to 5 second this bulb is still off and after 5 second what happened now it will shift it to on timer okay on timer it means this ball will now become a on why it become a on because after five seconds its relay contact get changed it means its relay get a on 
okay so let's see now after five second it's relay get on means it's uh, relay contact get changed as you can see over here now 28 number no become nc here as you can see so now what happened if this become nc 28 number or 18 number so what happened now from this 20 number common terminal it will reach to power 28 number and then finally this ball will get the power now it become on okay now this ball will be on up to 10 seconds because here we have set on time 10 seconds that's why this ball will be on for 10 seconds now this timer on timer will also start the time counting like this up to 10 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so up to 10 seconds this ball will be on and after 10 seconds what happened this relay contact get again change means deactivated means this relay contact get turn off okay it become to normal position here we have set this on time setting 10 seconds okay so after 10 seconds what happened it's relay get change means it will be off then again it become to this ball will become to off means now again it uh, shifted to off timer setting so again this ball will be off up to five seconds so this off timer again will start the time counting one two three four five so up to five seconds this ball will be off and after five seconds again its contact get changed now this on timer will be activated and it becomes on this ball will be on up to 10 seconds this on timer will start the time counting like 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 so actually in this way this cyclic timer works in a fast mode okay so initially it is in our load is in off position as per our off time setting then it become on so on will be up to its on time setting so in this way it will work off on off on off on okay off on again off again on okay now let's move to the on fast mode okay so to set this cyclic timer in on fast mode what we have to do we have to shift the four number dip switch towards upside and five number dip switch towards downside so let's make it four number dip switch towards upside and five number dip switch towards downside now here we have set this timer in on first mode okay now in this mode actually what happened when we switch on this switch at a time this relay will get activated means its relay contact get changed and finally our ball will be glow on fast mode what happened when we switch on this switch at a time our load will be on so in this condition our load is bulb so our bulb is on okay because when we switch on this means its relay get on its relay contact get changed as you can see over here 28 number is nc and 18 number is nc that's why from this 25 number to 18 a 28 number power will flow like this and it will reach to this load okay in this way this bulb is on now this bulb will be turned on up to its on time setting so here we have a 10 second for on time setting and 5 second for off time so this bulb will glow or on up to 10 seconds so now this on timer will start the time counting like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now after 10 seconds what happened it's relay get deactivated okay now it's relay get deactivated means its contacts become to normal position okay like this as you can see over here now again this 28 number terminal become a anno now when we when it become anno it means now this ball will be 
turn off okay because here this will break the circuit between 25 number and 20 number 28 number it is ano contact okay ano now again this timer will shift towards to off timer so now this ball will be off up to 5 second off timer will start the time counting up to 5 second 1 2 3 4 5 so up to 5 second this ball will be off and after 5 second again it's really get on means it's shifted towards the on timer so now this ball will again get on and uh, this ball will be on up to 10 second 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so after second after 10 second again this will be shifted to us to off setting so this will be off after 10 second again this cyclic starts like on off on off on off so in on fast mode what happened actually initially this load is on when we switch on this switch then become off so in this way on off on off on off on off on off on off in this pattern this cyclic timer or our load will be work as for this cyclic timer okay or in off fast mode actually what happened initially our load is in off mode when we switch even we even we switch on this switch now after a few seconds as per our off time setting so after that it will be become on so off on off on off on in this way it will work in off fast mode okay now let's come to its application if you talk about its application so cyclic timer is used in washing machine here we have a uh, two directionals uh, forward and reverse word so actually here we used cyclic timer and we have set some second like a uh, motor should uh, be run in reverse direction for 5 second and uh, forward direction should be in 5 second so we have to set the uh, on time and off time setting in cyclic timer 5 second so uh, in 5 second we have to start the forward contactor 5 second and reverse word contactor 5 second so in this way actually this timer helps to rotate this washing machine motor in forward and reverse word direction okay and uh, if you talk about fountain so here we have also uh, used cyclic timer so here we have a so many valves so to operate this valve we have used uh, cyclic timer so on off on for on for five second as for your requirement so on for five second and off for let's say seven seconds so in this way uh, with the help of cyclic timer we can operate the valves of its fountains valves okay even we can use cyclic timer in a street light so we can set the off time like 12 hours so in daytime it will be off and in night time it will be on so on time set you can set the 12 hours as well so in this street lights also we can use cyclic timer even in simple bottle filling plant where we can also use cyclic timer to operate this bottle filling solenoid valve okay so these are the application of cyclic timer so even you can uh, use this cyclic timer as per your requirement wherever you have a interval like a few seconds off and off off and on repeatedly wherever you require such type of application you can use this cyclic timer okay so hope you guys understand about working of cyclic timer in off fast mode and on fast mode okay so thank you for watching this video so please like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video